Hello and welcome to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar playthrough. Today we are uh, by this little village. If we bring up the map and you look in the north uh, eastern quadrant there, you'll see that south of the Shrine of Sacrifice, uh, I've circled an area with a red uh, with a red ellipse there and that is where we are. That's where this little town is that we've never heard of. At least I'm assuming it's a town. Um, that we're going to enter it like we do any of the other towns, but it looks different. This is a different icon than we've seen. So let's see what this place has in store for us. So this is Vesper. It is a village. Okay. Excellent. Now, I'm not expecting a, a, a companion here. I guess we'll see. I'm hoping there's a healer because, as you can see, Julia is still mostly dead. We can resurrect her, so she's not completely dead, but she's mostly dead. Uh, but let's talk to um, let's talk to this guard. I am a guard. All right. So, what's your job? Ugh, me tough. All right. What's your name? Wow, these are even stupider than <laughs> some of the other guards we've been dealing with. I didn't think that was possible. I really did not think that was possible. All right, so let's talk. You meet a Hulk. Interesting. What's your name? <laughs> I am Guard. Okay. Uh, what's your job? Ugh, me tough. Okay, I just missed that first first line of dialogue. All right, let's just, um, before we start really getting into all the conversations, we got Vesper, we got some mages. Let's see if we got a healer someplace here. We got arms, that's important. We might see if we can top off um, top off some things. Guild, oh, did, wow. I have no idea what that means. Ale, this looks like a pub. Yep. I would really like there to be a healer, otherwise we're just gonna have to go find a healer. But let's, let's keep looking around and see what there is to see here. And this is just the road out of town. What is this area? We have a child that's in our way. Is that part of the guild and all that? Or is this something else? I guess we're kind of doing our, this must be the guild building down here. I am Randall, he's a solemn ranger. Okay, so what is your job besides being a ranger? I teach of the shrines. Okay, so please do give us, drop some knowledge, as they say. Visit each shrine for one, two, and three cycles each for thy paths to be clear. Dost thou visit Austin? Well, I am trying to, yes. Very good. Okay, so not information we did not know, but thank you, Randall, I think your name was. All right, so didn't like any healer here, so we're still going to have to... Um, we're still gonna have to keep uh, carrying uh, Julie around, but I, I have put a preservation spell on her body, so she's not gonna, you know, get stinky. Stinky. All right, we meet a funny jester. What is your name, funny jester? She says I am Shazbot. What's your job? I'm guessing to be a jester. Thou thinks I'm funny, don't thou? Well, I'll I'll humor her. Well, good. I try to be. Can you tell me a joke? Can you tell me about shrines? I'll say shrine. Stone. Dungeon. Whoops, not like that. I can never remember how to spell dungeon. How do you spell dungeon? Golly. Why did somebody with such horrible, horrible um, skills at typing decide to do a game that requires nothing but typing that really wasn't very smart okay um rumor all right i already did joke right funny i dare thee to ask me about nate the snake okay well it's a long story and we haven't the time <laughs> Okay, time, snake, 
Nate. Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to be be kind of a jad, dad jokey kind of pun uh, with it you know, being a long story. Maybe it's supposed to be a long snake. All right, so we have a couple of mages here. Let's talk to these to these guys. I am Twin Gates. Okay, I'm guessing both of these guys are going to have the same names. That's a common, common theme. Um, well, what do you do here? Welcome thee to Vesper. All right, Vesper. Yes, Vesper is a fair village. Hast thou come a long way? Yes, we have. We are honored by the visit of one on the quest. Oh, cool. All right. All right. Is there like a secret healer? Oh, they thought I was asking about his health and the health as well. Okay, thank you. I'm guessing this guy is going to have the same dialogue tree. Yep, what's, the, what's your job? Welcome. Welcome under Vesper. If we go Vesper. Fair Village. What if I say no? Same thing. Okay. Very good. Oh, very good. Oh, wow. We have a whole gaggle of shepherds here. I don't know if that's the right thing to, to do. He says, I am plain a small man. Okay, so we know your name. What's your job? I seek humility. When the three principles of virtue combine in eight ways, pride has no virtue. So the three principles to, um, to remind you, in case you've forgotten, the three principles are truth, love, and courage. And then we've got the... Um, Eight virtues, honesty, compassion, valor, justice, sacrifice, honor, spirituality, and humility. So this guy is probably like a, an exile from Agencia, which we briefly visited. That's the place that was supposed to be about humility, but then pride laid it low. So um, let's ask this guy about pride. To be proud is not a virtue, and so Magencia was destroyed. Humility is the virtue that remains. G I N C I A. Can't help me with that. Okay, interesting. Let's talk to this person. A fair woman. She says, I am Jim. What is your job? I do humble works. Humble works. I can help thee with the mantra. Oh, okay. Uh, we do not have the mantra for humility yet. Since humility is the opposite of pride, so is its mantra. Hmm. Know ye the mantra of pride? I have an idea, but I'm going to say no. When thou dost reverse it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try. So is this mantra? I'm going to say yes. Then reverse it for humility. Yeah. So what I'm guessing is here for humility, I'm going to say the mantra of pride is me. So for humility, it would be E-M or M. We'll go with that until we hear something, hear something different. Does uh, Jem know anything about the shrine that I cannot help thee with? So this is interesting. We're getting this information here. Um, I already asked about the shrine. Rune? I need to be asking these guys about the rune. I may have to go back and ask the plain guy about the rune. Okay. Let's talk to this guy to the south. Joseph. I'm glad they have different names. What is it you do here? Probably is trying to be humble. Yes, indeed. Shepherd. Uh, ERD. I am on a pilgrimage unto the shrine of humility. Guess what? So am I. All right. What can you tell me about that? Dost thou know that there is no shrine of pride? I will say yes, I knew that. 
very good. Yeah, but where's the shrine of humility? It is on the dark island. Oh, the dark island. I wonder what exactly that means. There's not an island. I'm taking a quick peek at the map. I'm not going to bring it up. No, I don't see. I'm wondering if that could be the same island that Magentia itself is upon, perhaps. Um, we will we will find out. Okay, so we've got we've got some information there. I probably better take a note of that. We do need to get our team back to to that. Okay, do you know anything about the rune? Perhaps. Did I ask you about that? I can't remember. It'd be nice if I could type. Okay, thank you. Let's talk to this person. She says, I am simple, a slender shepherdess. What's your job? Something to do with humility, I'm guessing. I seek the shrine. Don't we all? The shrine of humility. The shrine lies to the, on the north bank of the Isle of the Abyss and is guarded by endless hordes of demons. Whoa! Okay. By the way, there was demons we were fighting when when Julia died. I don't think we're ready for that yet. I don't think we're ready for that yet. Know the Isle? I'm going to say no. I'm not totally sure. I don't know if it's the Isle of Magentia or if this is a different Isle. Southeast of Britannia. I mean, for all I know, that's where the Isle of Magentia is. Uh, but this might be a good thing when we finally get a... a ship because we can get a ship in this game okay know ye anything about the rune nope okay thank you you guys are just chock full of information small man rune do you know anything about the rune no all right nobody seems to know about the rune did i ask everybody about the rune i think i asked jem yep and i talked to this person Okay, so I don't, none of them know about the rune, which is, okay, but we've got information on the mantra, we've got information on the shrine, so we're making, we made some progress there. All right, let's talk to this person, a bold paladin, paladin, he says, I am Corcoran. Well, what's your job here, Corcoran? I travel these fair lands to spread the virtues. Oh, Nice. To know the progress on the paths of virtues, one must visit the seer Hawkwind often. That's that seer at Lord British's castle. Next time we're in that neighborhood, we should probably do that and see how we're doing on our virtues. Dost thou do this? I'll say yes, because we've done it. All right, good. Eh, okay. Uh, just on just for Chucks. Can I join me? I didn't ask the I didn't ask the shepherds. Maybe I should. Eh, we'll see. Let's talk to the arms guy and see what he's got. Wendy, Village Arms, I want to buy, because we never get anything. Oh, we got daggers, we got slings, we got bows, bows, bows. Okay, so how much are your daggers to start off with? Two gold PC, so that's the same price as as um, Lord British's, or, 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 or at Britain, so that's... That's very good. That's very good. Um, so let's get, I got 21 right now. Uh, let's get, we get 800 gold. We're doing good. 30. Yes. Uh, a sling. Our slings, uh, where's, so let's get one more. Because what, what I'm thinking of is I want to outfit uh, Julia with a sling. So that she can use from more further away until we can get her hit points up. So I will say one. Yes. So how much is a bow? Our bows are made to finance you and Willow at Steel at 250. I'm going to think about that. Uh, and then how much is the flaming oils? Flask of oils make great weapons and create a wall of flame to five gold pieces each. Okay. I, I'm going to get some of those. That could be handy. That could be handy. Ten. I'm going to say no. Fare thee well. Thank you, ma'am. All right. We blew some money. We blew some money. Let's talk to these guys real quick. I'm guessing none of these people are going to join me. I could be wrong, so it doesn't hurt to ask, I guess. None of them offered to join me. Okay. Okay. 
they're all busy being humble shepherds, which doesn't really lead them to quests of the Avatar necessarily. Okay, so none of these guys can join me. So who knows, maybe there is, I mean, since this is maybe kind of like taking the place of Magentia as far as being able to uh, learn about humility, the, the, the things we need for humility, there may very well may be a, a uh, companion here. Or maybe there is a companion at Magentia, so probably need to make that, we need to go back there. And I, I, we've never been attacked other than when we sleep uh, in a town. So I'm hoping maybe there was a demon there I'm hoping maybe that uh, they wouldn't attack us either. Welcome to the sleep shop. Are you in need of lodging? No, I guess not. Then you have come to the wrong place. Timus. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can't ask him anything. All right, so we got sleep there. We've got ale over here. Trying to talk to a door. It doesn't work out very well. Let's talk to this person. What will it be? Food or ale? We need food. So let's buy some food. Uh, uh, green gran granolkit? Granol granukit. Granukit. Each plate costs two gold pieces. So how many would we like? So there's three of us. So we got 42 now. Uh, so if we got 40, that would be 80 gold pieces. Um, so I did 100, that would be 200 gold pieces. Let's do 100. Can we, oh, I can only buy in double digits. All right. All right, that'll work. Let's talk to this gentleman. He says, I am Dika, a tall, nimble man. Okay, what is your job, Dika? I am a thief. I like to borrow. Yeah, that's what you call it, huh? My favorite things are to, to borrow our horses. Boy, it'd be cool to get horses. You can steal horses in the town Paws. So there's another town called Paws. So apparently beyond the eight cities we know about, now we've got now we know there's another town called Paws. I am not a thief. <laughs> Likely thou art a wimp. Uh can you tell us anything about Paws? Tell us anything about the ruin. I seriously doubt it. Feel like joining me? Nope. Didn't think so. Wasn't sure I wanted you to. We'd all have to be watching our all right, so let's talk to this guy. Traveling Dan, a short rotund man with a hat and a vest. Traveling Dan. Traveling Dan, the Tinker Man. I'm really getting like 70s vibes from this guy. All right, I'm assuming that you tink. Okay. Uh, I know your name, I know your job. I am fine, thank thee. Um, can't you? Okay, I guess there's not much I can ask you. Uh, let me ask him about the, the rune. All right, you're no help on that. All right, let's talk to this person. I am Balthazar. Okay, what is your job? I am a serf. Oh, wow. Serfs work hard for little pay. Work. I work the fields for my master. Dost thou have a master? Nope. Thou art lucky indeed. You know anything about the rune? I can't imagine a serf's going to be able to join. Nope, you can't. Okay, interesting. First time I think we've seen any instance of, you know, serfdom, even though we've got lords all over the land. Avast ye mates, surely ye wishes to buy from old Long John Leary. Lon John Leary says, Welcome to the guild shop. Like to see me goods. I, I like how the first paragraph is all piratey, and then after that he goes like into into King's English. Welcome to the guild shop. Would you like to see me goods? I actually went cockney or something there. I don't know. Uh sure. 
torches, magic gems, magic keys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. How much are torches? Five torches for nope. Um, yes. Uh, gems. I don't know what we need for gems. 60, five for 60 gold pieces. I'm going to buy that. Yes. I think we need gems when we get to the dungeons. That's why I'm buying that. Keys. Now, you might recall a few episodes back, I tried to open a locked door. And I was unsuccessful because I was using the open command. And the open command is used for locked chests. And I was like, well, how the heck do you do it? And there is a command that's called Jimmy Lock. And to do that, you need a key. And I'm like, where do you get a key? Apparently, here's where we can get a key. Uh, 60 gold pieces for six. I will buy that. So now we can go back to, I think it's Yalom, uh, where, where there was a guy that was, yeah, Yalom, locked room at the inn. And then at, uh, we had, I don't remember, was it, it was Empath Abbey. It's wherever the Oak Grove was, where we, there was a locked door. So maybe now we can get into those places. So that is excellent. Was that all you, was that all you had, good sir, for me? It was. Okay. All right. Excellent. And, and you'll notice that guy just did it. I noticed on the other side, we've got some secret rooms, which are just gold rooms. And these are going to be, uh, what's your name? Beautiful and impressive guard. I am Friday. What's your jab? I shall warn thee against taking this gold. Does thou intend to take it? Nope. That is good. Care to meet me for a drink later since you're beautiful and everything? Maybe a date? Maybe a little kissing? I can spell that. <laughs> Darn it. I guess I'm not going to get lucky here. And um, where the heck are we? This little town. Now, ooh, here we've got a little shepherd in a secret room. A meek shepherd. What is your name? I am Servile. What's your job? I can help thee. Oh, please do help me. I know of the skull of the Maladin, of Mon, Mondain the wizard. Okay, so I'm making the assumption that, that he's not using it. <laughs> this is the first I've heard of a skull of a wizard. All right, so what else can... I, I, I honestly have not heard of it. It is an evil artifact. Oh, so what do you use it for? We have skulls of wizards that are evil artifacts. That's kind of terrifying. That's kind of terrifying. All right. Thank you. All right. So we've been in there. We've talked to all these people. I don't think we've been in the ale. Yeah, the tap house here. So let's talk to this person. Daika we talked to. We don't need to talk to you again. We'd like to talk to the barkeep. I don't see any other secret rooms in here. Taika, move, man. All right. Welcome to the Axe and Ale. Oh, we did. We bought food here. We bought food here. Um, ale. Uh, wasn't, wasn't willing to do any, any haggling with me. Oh, well. I don't really need to be drinking here. This seems like a bit of a dis disreputable place. So we've been to the arms. We've talked to Vesper 1 and Vesper 2. Let's talk to this child. We haven't talked to any children. I meet a slender youth. What is your name? Flatbush. Interesting. What's your job? I am an apprentice mage. Interesting. I am the calumny's favorite. It's calumny. He lives in you. Okay, I guess that why that's that's why that sounds vaguely familiar. We probably talked to calumny in you. Hast thou been to you? Yes, we have been to you more than once. Uh, 
Oh, that's the quickness spell guy. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Okay, no ye anything of the rune. Okay. All right, so I think I've been. We've looked at this guy. We looked around here. Talk to the jester. And we kind of went around this already because we were doing that when I was just looking to make sure there wasn't a healer here. Yeah, I talked to this bozo. And I came around here. It's a very small place. All right, let's exit. Oh, wait a minute. I can go around here a bit. Let's just check this out. Make sure there's not any secrets on the... Ugh. Is that because there isn't anything there? Or did I just hit it one time too much? Okay, there's nothing there like that. So let's just check these other ways and make sure there's not something hidden here. Yeah, and, and yeah, I, I do I do see the mermen or whatever the blazes those things are. I don't think I'm going to engage them. They're in the water. We'll say that for a time when we have a boat <laughs> with cannon. All right, I went, I went north. Let's go south here. All right, nothing there. Okay, so let's... Um, there's some areas here. All right, so we got Swampy Swampness. We were actually on the other side of that Swampy Swampness last episode. And we got some Headless there. All right, nothing there. I wonder if I need to, to, to dive into that Swampy Swampness. Actually, let's see if enough time has passed. Oh, God. <sighs> all right. Oh, we made it all the way through. Let's see if enough slot, uh, time has passed that we can once again meditate on sacrifice. We did one cycle last time. And we need our mantra. Get our mantra at the ready. The mantra for sacrifice is Ka, C-A-H. Okay, so let's enter the temple. I'm probably going to have to take on those headless because I, I'm, I'm going to go around the thing and, and do that. Uh, sacrifice. Let us let us meditate on sacrifice. Let us make sure I can type it right. I have noticed in editing these things that if you misspell it and put and put the A, because it says they see our I F I C E. If you put a, a second A there instead of the instead of the I before the F, it takes it. So they have a, allowed for some common uh, misspellings. Let's say two cycles. Okay, good. So we so we said the mantra was Ka C A H. So we'll get through the first cycle here. Hopefully, we will be granted a vision. And I think once we've done this, once we've gotten through all these cycles, then I think we've like perfected that that uh, that particular um, uh, virtue. We'll find out when we go visit what's his face at, at uh, Lord Bruce's castle. Okay, thoughts are pure. Thou art granted a vision. For thee to flee and leave thy companions is a self-serving action to be avoided. Okay, makes sense. Since we're talking about sacrifice. No, I am assuming that um, it won't allow me to do it. Yep, still worry. Okay, let's do a little bit more uh, reconnoitering here. Okay. I am... What am I using right now? I got my sling. Excellent. Iolo, you can stand behind me and let's sling these guys if we can actually hit them. That one's fleeing. That one's gone. The only good orc is a dead orc. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love these slings. I do love these slings. All right, now I'm gonna sling this guy. I might get my dagger out. Okay, ready. Uh, dagger C. Uh, Iolo can't attack anything. He's gonna move over here. Go stabby stabby with him. Now he's fleeing. He's gone. I'll chase him a little bit. I'll pass and let Iolo whack him once with the stone. Come on, Iolo, get him. He's still fleeing. All right. Get. Uh, well, I'll let you do it, Iolo. 43 gold. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to run into those headless. We're going to have to take them on. There they are right now. Uh, let's, let's see if we can run away a little bit just so we can see what's here. Okay. Oh, once again, liking these odds. Uh, let me... I'll, 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 I'll waste a dagger because these guys, I think, were pretty stout and then I, I totally missed them. And I did just buy a bunch of daggers. Heavily wounded. Finish them off, Iolo. There we go. Excellent. Um, Iolo opens it. 36 gold. Okay, cool. Some rogues are coming to get their buttocks whipped. That's okay. Four of them. Not super duper worried. All right, so I want to actually, I'm going to ready my sling. And I always got his sling, and now we're going to go attacky tacky. He's heavily wounded. Fleeing. Let's get him out of the picture. I'm going to attack this guy. All right. I thought he was fleeing, but he keeps coming. Oh, that one's fleeing. All right, one's off the board. Let's get these guys. Let's get them, get them, get them. All right, okay. Are you guys fleeing? Are you running away? Huh? Huh? Did I say you could lead the battlefield? There we go. Get. Right, hello. 55 gold. Okay. So we've got... Is there any... Okay, we got a little bit of deep dark forest there. I want to look over here in the mountainous area and just make sure there's not anything there. There's not. There's not. There's not. There's not. Okay. All right. So this is like the upper edge. We saw... Oops. 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 Okay. So I got to cast. I'm going to cast Cure Spell on myself. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty... Ooh, snakes. All right, I don't think there's anything else in this general vicinity uh, that we need to see here. Now, I suppose we could see if enough time has passed and maybe we can meditate again. Let's try it. It'd be nice if we could do it while we're in this area. Let's see if enough time has passed since I've spent some time... Three cycles. Oh, yes. Enough time has passed. Excellent. All right. So this will complete for us the meditation for uh, sacrifice. So when we go back to what's his face, you know, we should be pretty looking pretty good from a sacrifice point of view. We do need to get back over to the Shrine of Justice and do some more do some um, some more meditation there because I think we did two cycles. Um, I, I tried to do one cycle and I messed it up. I, I mistyped it and it didn't work, I think. So, and I don't know if we have to do one, two, and three. We did two successfully, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if I had to start over at one and then go two and then go three or what. We'll have to see how that, we'll have to see how that works out. I don't know if it, it really me makes you do it um, sequentially like that. Thou thoughts are pure, thou art granted a vision. To give thy life's blood so that others may live is a virtue of great praise. Okay. I'm curious if it's going to say something like, you know, you've done everything you can do. Okay, I'm still weary. 
I guess I'm going to assume because everybody's telling me to do one, two, and three, and we've done one, two, and three. I'm going to assume that that's done. So while we're here on this island, before we step foot on the bridge and maybe get orcs, uh, let's take a look at the map. What I'm thinking I probably want to do is let's head up to the to the let's head up to Minoc. I can't remember if there's a healer there at Minoc or not, and we'll see if there's a healer. And if there is not, then uh, we will um, go over to Britain because I know there's a healer at Britain. And also, before we get going, let's take a quick peek at our stats. Okay, so I'm at 686, so I'm not ready to level up yet. 646 for Iolo. And then, uh, yeah, we're not ready. Julie is not getting an XP right now because we're just dragging her carcass across the countryside. Okay, so we're going to, oh, good. We're going to cross the mountains here. Get into the Bloody Plains. We're going to head north. We're not going to attempt the sea monster. We're going to go across this bridge successfully, which is nice. All right, and then we're gonna go north. And somewhere up in here is where that moon gate comes out. I don't remember exactly where. So this is the full moon. Oh, actually, no, we're gonna, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> ah! All right, cast spell. I'm casting the spell, cure on me. Cast spell, me, cure on Iolo. I guess the only good thing there is, is that um, Julia couldn't get poisoned. Uh, the bad thing is, is I think that brings us down to one cure spell. So I'm going to have to make more. I'm not sure I've got the stuff I need to do that, which means we need to go back to Moonglow. Okay, so here's Minoc. That's the inn. The iron works, okay, yep. That was like the poor house. Yeah, I don't think there's a healer here. I don't think there's a healer here. So that means it's on the Lord British's castle, right? Yep, 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 okay. I don't wanna, you know, we're gonna spend a lot of time here if, if there's nothing to get, if there's, uh, we can't get healing. So let's try to stay out of the poison bits. So this is the full moon and uh, here. And then Lord British's castle is crescent waxing. Crescent waxing. So that means uh, we have a small crescent of 10% white and 90% black. Okay, so crescent waxing, 10% white, 90% black, meaning so crescent of white on the left side so that would be crescent waxing right there but we need it to be the full moon here in order to uh, get to the moon gate so we will have to see how long that takes to happen Okay, so as you can see, we came through a moon gate. It wasn't the one we wanted. Uh, I don't think we can get there from there, if you if you will. We um, Oh, but we can double hop. All right, and I think we are at, yes, there's Lord British's castle. Let's get into Britain. And let's find the healer. And let's at least end this episode. There we go bringing good old Julia to life. Yes, we are in need of help. We need a resurrection. Julia is in need. 300 gold pieces. Yes, we will pay. And Shazam. Now she is, uh, so uh, I'll say no. So I'm going to cast me. I'm going to cast spell heal on Julia. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again, actually. All right, that's pretty good. We'll probably rest, rest up a bit, but I'm going to uh, leave it here. 
Uh, we are at Britain's. Uh, we are in Britain, so probably next time we'll go and talk to that mage that tells us how we're doing on our virtues and see what he has to say about how we're doing on our on our, our on our virtues. Maybe go back to Moonglow and get some more reagents. Although we need to get some gold because I've spent a bit of gold now. Um, but we'll see where this takes us next. We do need. There are still towns we need to get to. Uh, there's a couple that we haven't been to yet. We haven't been to Scarabray. We haven't been to Trinsic, which we've been told about. We need to go back to Magencia, so we know we we know how to get there via Moongate. So we've got we still have places to be, and then we just need to start exploring this world. We need to find Pause, the new village we learned about today. That was exciting news, and um, and uh, there's probably even more that we haven't found yet, including. The skull of an evil wizard. But I'm going to let that be that and end this here. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I do hope you come back next time. And until then, be seeing you.